Thank you so much for staying tuned. In case you are just joining us, this is Entertainment News on China's television. Where else would you rather be? Still talking movies. Are you aware that the movie Enoch, a biopic of the famed pastor Adeboye, the general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, took over two years to make? From researching to shooting multiple scenes over and over again. The producers left no stones unturned to tell the story of the revered man of God. More details in this red carpet feature at the screening event in Lagos. Take a look. The result of over two years of research, shooting, editing and reshooting and more is about to be previewed as producers of Enoch, a biopic of the famed Pastor Enoch Adeboye screens in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Co-director and producer Kone Oguntuashe meets and greets invited guests while giving a sense of the journey to recreating the childhood and young adult experience of the revered man of God. <laughs> it's extremely genuine, you know, because you know, the man has always been there. And you know, you, you could tell that a lot of people will want to make that movie. You know, of course, it, um, it, it, it can only be something that, that is considered by, the, by God himself. Because you wonder why the movie has not been made yet. Because a movie has been made in a church, in part of the church, but for him, the movie has been made. It was, it was just the divine courage that, that God bestowed upon as a good producer. And just called him one day, like, the person has been made just short films in her entire life. And said, okay. Let's make film for that deal that God is leading her. Like, ah, inside, I was like, are you trying? What are you trying to do? So, of course, we began the journey for like two years of planning, getting approval. It was back and forth, back and forth. And then we got the approval. And then, of course, Mozan came on board. And then, what, what we were afraid, we can't lie, because <laughs> it's that deal. And look at even a church on the island can do that, you know? And then, how do you get it perfectly? What are the mistakes? You know, where? But, I think God just helped us, and then we were able to also pay, do the things that we were supposed to do, research and all of that. So it was, it was very, it was very scary project. The biopic follows the story of the pastor right from his days as a brilliant young student, through to meeting his wife, Pastor Mrs. Foluke Adeboye, and their journey to present day. Uh, Mr. Adeboye, meet my, my amazing cousin here. Her name is Foluke Adeyokunu. And Foluke, meet my very good friend. His name is Enoch. That's his. Omidio's bad was uh, the most uh, clinical one. So, so that Joe, he told us that he, he's a storyteller. He has written about five stories before. So you understand things about story and if you just, it's sort of be just ABC, you get that. But Omidio doesn't want to hear that part. Omidio will say, that car you use was not our car. See, that plate number, that is not our plate number. In fact, the house we use doesn't look like our house. So we thought just to renounce it. So we said no. In fact, the lady that acted for you, she made a wig, you know, because we're old school. We just made this old school wig, and then we said we are good. And then we was edited again, gave to We need to reshoot this thing. I never wore Afro wig in my life. I never did any head at that big. It's always a woo that I used to do. Okay, mama, it doesn't matter. I said, no, no, no. Don't give a wrong vision of myself. I had to go back to location, shoot everything that I put for Lou. Everything that, of course, some scene that maybe she was, was trying to we are safe. But if you tie Gilly here, the next day you are wearing the Afro, you know, that's another trouble. We have to shoot all of those scenes. That's another scene where the wedding scene, where they were wearing this white and black Asho cake. You know, of course, Massive, there's this, if you see the movie, very massive church like that. You know, and we, we gather crowd from all over. We use both to bring crowd in. And then, I said, that, that scene, I never wore that kind of clothes. <laughs> 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 he, 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 he said, she said, and the book said, I said, the clothes was a lady. We don't look at what's a lady. It was like purple kind of purple and orange, purple and white. So you go and look for it. We look for a lady, we couldn't say a lady. We have to go and remake. Re the clothes all over to get it, so something close to that. He say, he say, so nobody wear black and white for weddings. Why do you? We have said, say, eh, we. Enoch the movie joins the short list of biopics in Hollywood, an industry that thrives on romantic comedies. Festival runner Ewoma Ogene Luther speaks about the space for biopics and other non mainstream genre in the Nigerian movie industry. We 
since the inception of this, we've said this is not just an event, it is a movement. Um, like you do, like you rightly said, we have different segments in the film industry. And this is for the faith-based creative, and which is all, one of the reasons why we started the Kingdom Film Festival, a festival for Christian filmmakers. Let us bring them to the forefront. Um, the market is quite big, and so this is a niche in the market. And then starting this um, creation of this with this movie, a movie that um, is a biopic on a man that is loved, not just by Nigerians, but loved worldwide. And then looking at the excellence that was put into the creation of this movie, it is such a good way to start this movement. Enoch is from the stable of Mount Zion Films, a renowned faith-based content studio. But what if it is the will of God? No, no, no. It is not the will of God. It is the will of man. God must cancel that thought in the heart of Baba. Definitely enlightening. Looking forward to that one.